So this has uh, been in my family 18 years uh, this summer. Um, I've just been thinking that it's gone back together probably either five or six times in that time. So it's had to come to bits uh, for major work at one time or another. I reckon that's been six times. Um, so it's just been resprayed. Uh, one problem that we've come across over the last year uh, was, I'll, I shall explain in a minute. So I'm going to show you inside my other Land Rover because uh, it's cause I've already done the done the thing. But basically, where the uh, where the overdrive gear lever is, which is this one here, um, it runs on a on a pivot. So what happens is you get corrosion build up on that shaft, and it makes it very difficult to change gear. So what we've done to, to do this is to overcome this. If I lift the mass out of the way, uh, you can see that what we've done is we've drilled and tapped a hole uh, that we can then put a grease nipple into and then obviously grease the shaft which makes it very easy to change gear. So today's video is going to be about that. So as, as you can see this thing's starting to get a bit of a mess now but uh, it's uh, been in here for four years this winter um, doesn't get used all that often, probably gets used three times a year if that um, but a very handy thing to have when you do need it uh, yet again I've neglected to take the um, the tapers out of the um, turret there uh, so they've rusted up solid as well that aside I'll sort that out in a minute this is our pin what we need to do is we need to measure the diameter of which is about 17 mil, obviously an imperial equivalent. So I'm going to find a collet to put in the collet chuck uh, to suit this to suit this pin. So after quite a bit of hassle, I've managed to get the chuck inside the uh, uh, capstan here. This is a capstan lathe. Um, what I am going to do, I'm going to face the end of the bolt off and then I'm going to centre drill it with the centre drill that's already attached and um, then drill it 5.5mm diameter uh, to tap it to quarter UNF. So here we go. So this machine takes a bit of getting used to if you've not used it either for a while or not before uh, in the sense that uh, to operate your um, your left and right axis, can't think of the name at the minute, uh, it's the handle on the left, it's the handle on the right, as you forwards backwards. So, into gear, 1000 RPM.
it's uh, it's five and a half mil needs to go about forty mil deep, which is about an inch and a half. So we'll just tuck onto the end. So that's going to be one. Right, so I know where I'm going to. So I've put the tap-in head into the capstan now uh, and all I've got to do is just run it on a slow speed into the into there. So here we go, don't snap it, put some tapping grease on as well. So I set it up in a V block uh, with a clamp and what I'm going to do is I'm going to centre drill it when I put some power on and then I'm going to drill it 5.5mm again. Right, power's on. Chuck is very close to the uh, the clamp. This is why it was catching, so hopefully I've marked it just enough. This one shouldn't be as much trouble. Back to this. So it's not how I wanted to do it, but for what it is it'll do. And now the drill's snagged up. Oh dear. Now, let's move down to the other side, about there, a bit further back. And I'm going to draw that at 90 degrees, 
to my other hole. Sand to drill it. Right, so it doesn't help because this chuck is completely worn out. But what we're going to do now is we're going to carefully hold it onto the thread and then we're going to put it inside the chuck and then just get some emery cloth uh, to clean it up. So, a bit, bit dodgy, but a bit of emery cloth sort it up. And uh, I've got the I've got it wrapped this way round because if it should it break and I'm obviously going to pull back whereas if I was doing it the other way I'd be going towards the machine so there we go tacked out and there we have it ready for fitting so it's fitted back in place now um, and then as you can see this is moving quite free it's not quite going into gear there we go the full, full change, full change it there. So that should uh, prevent it from seizing up again.